it just happened so fast. It brought up a lot of emotions in us because it was scary. We didn't know. Yeah, I mean, it was very, very hard. And uh, I didn't have anybody to vent to because my wife was going through something even harder than I was. An alarm would go off. If a sensor popped off, <laughs> what the heck's going on? The big incubator and the big blue lights, they freak you out. But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, it's what he needed and they had it and Rex was far superior to any other hospital thing I've ever been through in my life. Parents walk into the unit and see their baby for the first time. There are um, machines at the bedside, there are sounds, there are tubes going to your baby. It's very overwhelming. We were just kind of like looking at the nurses and doctors like, okay, what's next? Because we didn't really know what was next. And they're like, okay, we're gonna take him to the NICU. Okay, great, when can we see them? Right after your baby's born, there is the question of where do I go? Do, do I go um, and follow my baby up to the unit or do I stay with my wife? And my answer to that would be, there's no wrong answer there, you know? Do, do what you feel. And for us to have a baby and him not come home was very, very hard for her. It's important to remember that babies are born into a family, right? And so the better the relationship is between you and mom, right, the better it is for the baby long term. So uh, um, I'm always going to err on the side of, you know, care for mom. We're good with the baby for right now. Be with the mom, you know, because uh, there's a lot of stress that is put into a marriage when you have a sick baby. Um, and um, my first thought would be, you know, make sure you're nurturing that relationship. Ask questions. There isn't a silly question. We're all human and people are busy, people are doing their jobs, but please, if you don't understand something, you don't like something, bring it up. Don't wait. Don't sit there and, and ponder about, you know, is this, is this right, is this not? You know, there, there isn't a stupid question. I want dads especially to be able to ask those kind of questions and be involved because if they, if they can't, it makes a bad situation worse. Dads um, like to know those specifics as well, and some dads don't feel like they can, you know, they don't want to bother people, um, when in fact just the opposite is true, you know. Um, the more questions you ask, the more comfortable you feel, the, the better the entire team feels. You're not going to know anything. Um, don't feel like you are going to know, know it all, or um, you're gonna feel like you know nothing, and it, that's okay. Um, because the doctors and nurses have been trained to do this their whole life. Um, so trust that. Take some time for yourself, if you can. Um, whether you have to go someplace and reflect, um, need, need five minutes on your own, go do it. Um, and know, know that your child is safe while you are taking care of yourself or your wife. The biggest thing is just more of putting our guard down because it's very easy to get excited and be in the moment and or be critical because you want to be the dad that solves everything. It's not going to work out well for anybody. Um, it's okay to be scared because everybody was scared at one point. Dads are worried about is, you know, you're used to being in control. You're used to, be, you're used to being able to to do things for your child, and you really can't. And it's very frustrating. You want to do anything you possibly can, and there's not a whole lot you can do besides um, support. And uh, for many dads, that's incredibly frustrating. Just putting that, that wall down, just being approachable to the whole situation. There's no amount of love that you can express that will tell you what it's like to be a father. And to be able to be a father and to be the one person that everybody's counting on to pull that kid through is remarkable. But at the same time, it's very stressful. It's very hard, and it's very heart-wrenching to watch somebody you decided to bring in this world, and they're not ready to be here. You know, there's, there's struggles, 
But at the end of the day, you have a baby, and there's a lot of people that don't. You know, there's nothing better than that feeling. And I would say that, you know, I mean, it might take time, but when you do get to have that baby in your arms, it's worth it. All of it is worth it.